Hallelujah. Welcome to um, Inspirational Moment with James. And this is Prime Media TV. How are you all doing? How are you all doing? How was your night? How is your day going? Um, my name is James. And this is the uh, Inspirational Moment. Wherever you're watching right now, begin to share the link and you know get more people to watch the live and let let, let others hear about the gospel i'm going to go right now on a break when i come back we'll go fully into the program stay tuned don't go anywhere church is marching on in spite of all persecution and this is not just persecution again it's about so many preachers who have given themselves to the devil who have allowed themselves who have deviated from the gospel of truth who have given themselves over to seducing spirits who are no longer standing on the truth who are rather have become yeah, a, a, a nuisance to Christianity and to the faith. Uh, so many people have deviated from their first love. They have gone after the way of, of petition. They have become perverse in knowledge, in understanding. They have gone after the way of Balaam. You know, they are seeking for things. They are seeking for accolades. They are seeking for, for, for humans, approval, humans, you know, uploads, you know, 
in a bid to seek for human applause. They have lost their faith. They have lost their, 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 their calling. They, 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 have, they, they have deviated totally from the truth and they have given themselves to, 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 to doctrines of demons. And you know, we have so many controversy in the body of Christ right now. And if you are a true believer, you are a true Christian, I call on all the intercessors, I call on all the true Christians right now to intercede wholeheartedly for the church of God, especially in Nigeria, in Africa, and all over the world. What we are facing right now is more than controversy. It's doing a lot of harm to the body of Christ. What we are currently going on, uh, what is currently going on right now in the body of Christ is it has caused so many people their faith. Some people don't even know what to believe anymore. Some people are confused. Some have lost their faith. They have lost their hope. They are so confused right now. They don't even know what to believe. And some, even before now, their faith were not strong enough. They have lost their faith. They have totally gone back. They have, they, 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 they have been discouraged because of all the kinds of things that are going on in the body of Christ today. Some because of maybe preachers who have refused to stand for the truth. Preachers who have not, you know, uh, uh, who are not grounded in the word of God, who have been teaching all kinds of erroneous teachings that, 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 that does not build people, that does not empower people. And so we must realize and identify those people who are not standing on the truth and distance from those people. Apostle Paul was speaking, he said, even if I'm the one or any an angel from heaven comes to teach you any other thing apart from what you have learned from me or apart from what I have taught you from the beginning. You see, this Christian work is a very long journey. And sometimes if you are not really grounded in the world and if you don't stay connected, you know, in prayer, in fellowship with God, you know, consistently, a time will come, you will begin to drift away, you begin to shift away from the things that you used to believe. And so many people today have changed their doctrine, they, are, they have deviated from the doctrine that they, 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 they were once known to stand for. They have, they, they, they have denied, they, they, they have shifted away, totally away from the things that they used to preach. Some people, they, have, they, are, they are now doing the things they used to preach against. And now, the Bible says in, um, in Colossians, in Ephesians, in Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 4, from verse 11, the Bible says, He gave unto some apostle, prophet. I hope you are with your Bible. Let's open together and read it together. Wherever you are, open to Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11. Now look at what it says. It says he gave, he gave to some apostle, some prophet, evangelist, shepherds, that's teachers or pastors and teachers to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, for building up the body of Christ until we all attain the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God to mature manhood to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by the every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness in deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, who is the head into Christ from whom the whole body joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped. When each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. Now you see, we must understand firstly that we are, no matter who you are as a pastor, as a preacher, you must not assume the, 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 the position of a prophet, a pastor, a, a, a teacher, and a, 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 an evangelist. You must understand your assignment and stand within the grace God has given you. 
If you are called, the Bible says every man should abide in his calling. But we see that some people who are called to be teachers have left the, 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 the place of teaching. They have gone into the prophetic. Some people who have been who were called into the ministry of 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 of, of uh, you know teaching or, or or preaching, they have left that ministry and they have gone totally. They have deviated into something else that is not in alignment with their call. And so everybody must learn. Every pastor, if you are a pastor, stay within the jurisdiction of your call. If you are a prophet, stay within the jurisdiction of your call. Don't try to do a work of an evangelist when you are a prophet. Don't try to do a work of a teacher when you have been called to, 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 to be an evangelist. Don't try to operate in, in the ministry of a prophet when you are called to be a pastor. So if you stay, as long as you stay within the jurisdiction of your assignment, you are going to be relevant. But the moment that you begin to uh, aspire to, 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 to operate in, in, in another man's you know, uh, uh, calling, you are not going to be effective there. The same way a bird was created you know, to fly, it, it, the, the potential to fly is in every bed. And so a fish cannot fly. That is why a fish is in the water. A fish was not created. It, the fish is not designed to fly. A fish is supposed to be in the water. The moment a fish finds itself on the, on outside the water, the fish will not survive. The fish will not thrive outside, outside the water. And now a bed, now imagine a bed going to, going to live in, a, in, in the water. The bed will not survive there. That is the same thing that so many pastors, so many prophets, so many evangelists are doing. They are, are abandoning their call, their initial call. They are going ahead to operate in another man's office. But the Bible says that every man should abide in his calling. But these people have forsaken their calls and they have gone into their converting, they are converting other people's assignment. How many of you read about William Braham? How many of you read about William Braham? Now, you know the beginning of William Braham. You know he started well. You know he started well as a, as a very great prophet. He was a prophet. A mighty prophet that had had resort had so he was he had so many miracles in his in his life he worked so many many miracles he raised the dead within his time with as long as he stayed within his jurisdiction William Abraham was so relevant but a time came when William Abraham began to uh, you know deviate from his prophetic ministry he began to teach he began to you know teach and establish doctrine he was operating out out of his you know his office his his his, his, his jurisdiction and so he became irrelevant he started attacking all all people all the pastors of them the prophets the teachers of them he 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 kept on attacking them he went ahead to be teaching all kinds of things. Started teaching all sorts of things that, that I cannot begin to mention here. You go and read about the, the, uh, the, the read the story of William Abraham. You find out that as long as he stayed within his calling, he was relevant, and his generation recognized him for that. But the moment he began to teach when he was not supposed to teach, he was not a teacher, he was not a, an apostle, he was not giving that grace the grace was not there for him but the grace for the prophetic was there the grace was there to, to help him and so every office the prophetic office has its grace that is backing it the evangelistic uh, uh, gift or calling has its grace it has a grace that is backing it up and so when you uh, you as a prophet you begin to you want to operate in the office of a, a teacher, the grace may not be there for you. The grace will not be there to cover you. But a teacher, a, a, a person that has been given the, the, the office or that has been assigned into the office of a teacher can stand and teach effortlessly. 
I mean, why you as a prophet, you come, you you attempt to teach, you will you will, you will, you will, you will, you will, you will launch people into error. So every man is relevant when he or she remains on their track. The Bible says that an athlete would only, you know, win the prize if he runs according to template, according to the template that has been set for him. As long as an athlete maintains the posture, maintains the rules and the regulation of the game, he will win. But as no matter how speed an athlete is running on the wrong track, and never he can never win. So the reason why so many people have not have are, are, are so irrelevant, so many pastors, so many prophets, so many teachers are irrelevant is because they have. They, they have deviated from the assignment. They have gone ahead to, 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 to launch themselves into the call or into an office that was not, pre, that, 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 that was not, uh, that is not for them. They are operating into another man's office. Apostle Paul was giving an illustration of the body of Christ and he said, we have the hands, we have the legs, we have the head, we have the eyes, you know, we have the mouth. And he say each part complements, must complement each other. The eyes help the legs to give to, to for sight, so that the leg it gives the eyes give the leg direction. The leg may want to go to a jar or wants to go to any any state, but if the, without the eye, the, the, the leg cannot go there. The leg will end up somewhere else. But with the help of the eyes, the leg can be able to navigate and get to where it's, uh, the, leg, uh, the leg intends to be. So that is what makes us relevant when we stay within our, in our assignment. When we stay within the boundaries of our assignment. I'm going to play you that song quickly again. And then I will come back. Stay tuned with me. I want you to listen to it and pay attention. The outside world, they see us as if in hymns. Better known to them, there's an army within. You see, it's in us not to stand down, breaking the records at our usual sound. In spite of all the persecutions, see what we've done. See what we've done. Have you ever seen the righteous forsaken? No, I've never seen the righteous overtaken. With our shield of faith, we stand unshaken. In spite of all persecution, see what we've done. See what you've done. Spite of all, faith is standing strong in spite of all. We will fight this. Now, like I was saying, every man must learn to walk or to operate within the jurisdiction, within the boundary 
of his calling or his assignment. A bird cannot thrive in the water. A fish cannot thrive outside the water. The fish was designed to operate in the water or to live in the water. So if a fish tries to live outside of the water, it, it, it will not survive. So every human being was designed, was wired to operate effectively as long as they are within the boundaries of their, 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 their call or their assignment. So every assignment, every task that a person or God gives a person, that task comes with it, the grace to perform that task. As it, 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 it comes with that, that, that assignment. It's given to that person. The grace to, to, to survive in the water is given to the fish. But the grace to survive in the water is not given to the birds. And so, if the bird tries to live in the water, he will not survive. If the fish tries to live outside the water, he will not survive. If a pastor tries to live, to, 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 to operate in the, in the office of a prophet, he will, not, he will not survive. He will not thrive. He may struggle to do it. He may try to, to convince people that he can do it. But, 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 but God did not call the person into that office. And so, the grace to, to, to be effective in that office will not be there. This is the reason why we have so many controversies in the body of Christ. Because every man, one person wants to operate in all the fivefold ministry. He wants to be a prophet. He wants to be a teacher. He wants to be an evangelist. He wants to be an apostle at the same time. Now, I don't usually do this, but I'm going to do it for the first time in my, my lifetime of uh, ministry. I, I've been preaching for quite a number of years now, and I've never done this before. But, you see, we must learn to recognize those people who are against the faith. Those people who are enemies of the cross. The Bible calls them enemies of the cross. Now, a, there's a man that is trending currently right now. They call him Ebedamina. Most of you know him. Most of you, you know, you, you follow him. You see, I, have, I followed this man before and I used to enjoy his message before, before now. I've watched his ministry, I watched his, I watched his ministration one time when he was invited by, by this pastor of a house on the rock, uh, uh, Pastor Paul at the Pharisee. He was there and, you know, he preached a very deep, uh, you know, mystery about uh, Jesus. He, he unveiled so many truths about Jesus and he, 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 he thought people were blessed. I was blessed personally. But right now, what that man is teaching is, is not just po is poisonous, erroneous, and it, 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 it's, anti, it's antichrist. What that man is preaching is antichrist. Let me be sincere with you. Because so many of you that are that are clapping for him maybe because he preaches against giving and tithe and in the first place you were not that giving type and so you have found a consolation you have found somebody who will help you you know to to live out your your you know your 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 known giving life lifestyle now Ebedamina said that there is no tithe in the new testament that the that 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 tithing is the Old Testament stuff. You see, Ebedamina, I agree with you that there is no tithe, there is no mention of tithe in the, in the New Testament. I agree with you. But Ebedamina, do you know that in the New Testament, in the, read the book of Acts, you will find out that people did not just give 10% of their income. People did not just give 10% of their income. People sold their properties and they gave 90 to 100% of their income, of their properties. So what do you have to say about that? So if somebody is giving, if the New Testament people gave 100% 100 of their income, 90%. Now, I'm not saying that you should go and give 90% or 100% of your income. But I'm just letting Ebedamina to know, maybe he knows, maybe he doesn't know, that the, that, that the New Testament believers, the, 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 the people that started the, 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 the work of this Christianity, who, the apostles in the Acts, they sold all their belongings, they sold everything they had, and they gave it to God. In Acts chapter 10, when 
when when Jesus or when the angel appeared to Cornelius, he said, "Your your prayer and your alms giving has come as a memorial before God." Do you see that? He did not just say, "Maybe let's go to Acts chapter ten, so you don't think that I'm just you know blabbing." I know what I'm saying. I'm I'm I'm, I'm teaching scripture here. Let's go to Acts chapter ten. Act of the ten from verse one. And at Caesarea there was a man named Cornelius, a centurion of what was known as Italian cohort, a devout man who feared God with all his household, and gave alms generously. He gave alms generously to the people and prayed continually to God. About the ninth hour of the day, he saw clearly in the vision an angel of God in and said to him, Cornelius. And he stared at him in a terror and said, What is it, Lord? And he said to him, Your prayers and your arms, in other words, your giving, have ascended as a memorial before God. So who told you that, the new te- that giving is not in the New Testament? Who told you there may not be mention of tithe there, but I'm telling you the New Testament the believers, the New Testament Christians, they gave more than the Old Testament believers. Or the, the Old Testament, you know, children of God. They gave more than the Old Testament believers. They gave more than the Old Testament people, if you don't know. So what are you saying? Now, I, I have watched the person of Ebedamina. I have examined him. And the first thing I noticed about this man is, this man is a proud person. This man called Ebedamina has pride. And pride is not a nature, is not one of the attributes of a, 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 of, of a Christian because the Bible said, God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. You find out that Ebedamina is not a humble person. Ebedamina is not a person of love. It's not a personality that represents love. Because the Bible says God is love. And he who does not walk in love does not know God because God is love. In John, the first John chapter 4, verse 8. So you find out that Ebedamina is not a person that is walking in love. And the Bible says, he who is not walking in love does not know God. If Ebedamina knows God, he will not be tearing the body of Christ in pieces. So even if somebody is wrong, doctrinally, you are to correct that person in love, not by tearing the person down. Ebedamina is not, is not, is not humble. It's not a person that's walking in love. It's a proud person. A person who is boasting and bragging without results. He cannot point to one person that he has raised that, have, that is standing and doing well. Go and find out, I, 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 Pastor I, 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 Find out how many churches came out from him. Find out how many people are ha, ha, ha established through him. Find out how many structures came out of him and they are doing well. They are representing Jesus, preaching the gospel of Christ. They are doing well. Find out how many people, the same people he criticized. Find out how many people, how many pastors, how many churches came out of Bishop Oyedepo Church. The same people he castigating. Find out how many people they have brought to faith. And now, I don't see Ebedamina raising a godly people. I don't see him raising people who will go out there and represent Christ because Christ is a person of love. Christ is a person of discipline. Ebedamina is not discipline. Because discipline is not just about conduct. Discipline has to do with your word also. You have to be disciplined with your word. What you say. He goes out and begins to say things, begins to criticize. He criticizes every man of God in Nigeria, thinking he's the only true man of God that is standing on the truth. You cannot be the only person who is standing on the truth. At least there are people that are supposed to, there are, there are, there are pastors that are supposed to be, you know, be, be standing with you. But who is standing with you? He is currently against the Pentecostal church in Nigeria. How can a man be standing alone and he's still proud? I'm telling you, 
as as far as this uh, kingdom of God is concerned, as far as Christianity is concerned, as far as God's work is concerned, God's assignment, God's purpose is concerned, Ebedamina is alone. All the people are, that are following him, I have also examined most of his followers. I found out that there are people mostly who are not even serious with life, who are not serious with God. Those are his members. Who in the first place were against men of God, were against Christianity, were, were, were antichrist. Those are the people, those are the members that uh, the uh, Benjamin is gathering. You never find a serious fellow. A serious believer, spiritual believer, following Ebedamina. And he's not raising any kingdom child. He's not raising any godly people who will stand and represent Christ wherever they, they go. No, now, ask him, who, let him point to you how many people he raised. He claimed that he raised Paul Leneche. Pastor Paul Leneche came out to say no. Many people came out to say no, you didn't raise this man. Because there's a difference between what you're teaching and what he's teaching. Because a, 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 a tree, a, a, every, a, a mango tree cannot, a, cannot produce a, a cashew nut or a, a, a cashew, cashew fruit. An orange tree cannot produce a mango tree, a mango fruit. So we clearly see that your, your talking and his, his own does not tally. So how come you say you raise this person? This person is clearly doing well, mother. Do you know... The, the, the people that Ebedamina criticized in in, 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 in in this Nigeria mostly is two people. He criticizes Polenenche and Pastor Jerry Eze. And I don't know what 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 what, what, what why he's he is so against this man of God. He came out to say uh, the, the phrase what God does not do, what what does what God cannot do does not exist. He said that phrase is erroneous. That, that that phrase does not tally with the Bible. That phrase uh, there are so many things that God cannot do. The person who is saying this, he said it from the standpoint of you, you know sincerity. He, he he said it at the standpoint of what God can do in in in, in the context of. The, the good God, the good God, the God who does all good things. Because every good and perfect gift comes from God, the Father of life, in whom there is no variness. The person who said this, he said it uh, from his standpoint, from, from the standpoint of his understanding about who God is. Knowing fully well that God is not the author of confusion, God is not the doer of evil. He says, he's saying it that what the miracles that God cannot do, that negativity that God cannot change does not exist. You're coming out with your 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 false doctrine, your 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 your, your false, you know, you know, uh, teachings to, to, to contradict him. He's just using he using men of God to, 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 to be relevant. He has no message. Ebedamina has no message. Ebedamina has nothing good to offer. He cannot build people. He cannot, he, 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 he is, he is clearly an enemy. He has become a, an enemy to the faith. The person who, who, who came out, the same, he came out, do you know, I, I don't have time to, to, to be playing you his videos, where he said that uh, uh, you don't need the name of Jesus to approach God, that you don't need Jesus to approach God, that all you need is God, you just go to God by yourself, there's no need of going to Jesus. Meanwhile, the Bible says that, 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 that Jesus, Jesus said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way to the Father. With that means you cannot bypass Jesus and go to the Father because he is the one that made the way for us to go to the Father. Because we, we, he say, the Bible says he came to his own, but his own did not receive him. To many that receive him, he gave the authority, the right to become the sons of God. So it is through Christ Jesus that we have access to the Father. It is through Christ Jesus that we have access, that we have opportunity to, to come before Father. So without Jesus, you cannot even access God. It is through Christ Jesus that your sins are forgiven. He came out to say that you don't need Jesus. You don't need to pray, pray, pray in the name of Jesus for your for your prayers to be answered. That you already have access to the Father. That you don't need you don't need Jesus. You don't. Those people. I'm. You see why I'm taking time to do this. I don't do this. I'm doing this for the first time in my life. I have, I have never. I've been preaching for 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 several years. And I've never called a man of God, even online, offline. I've never called the name of man of God on 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 on, on while preaching before. But I have seen this, that this man has, is clearly an enemy to the cross. 
He's, he's taking many captive, keeping people in bondage, thinking he has to... He's, he's, is keeping people in darkness. There are so many calling people who don't know the scripture, who don't know the way of God, who are not spiritual, who are following him, clapping for him. Meanwhile, he's leading them in darkness. He's leading them in confusion. He's leading them into chaos. Such a man is a dangerous man to follow. Such a man has nothing to offer to faith, to the faith. He is not a, he is not a plus to the kingdom. He's an enemy to the cross. He's an enemy to the, to the cross. He's blocking others from accessing the true word of God, the undiluted word of God. His teaching, his, his, his doctrine, his teaching, his preachings, they are adulterated. You see, I, I told you before that I, 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 I used to love this man. When he, the, as long as this man remained on his track, I listened to him the first time I listened to him. I think when, when he preached in, in Pastor Paul uh, Ade Farasin, the pastor of House on the Rock, when he was invited, he preached and I was blessed. I listened to him. Not until he started, you know, vomiting all kinds of rubbish in the name of Revelation. Saying all kinds of things in the name of revelation, things that are not benefiting, things that cannot profit a believer. He started saying all kinds of things, discouraging all that, you know, keeping and, you know, leading. Okay, what is what is the difference? Tell me, what is the difference between, Pastor, uh, uh, what is the difference between Ebed Damina? I don't see, I don't see Ebed Damina as a pastor. I see him as a content creator. I see him as an, an, as an influencer. Who doesn't know the purpose why God lifted him? Why God lifted him to preach the word of God, to stay on his assignment and to proclaim the kingdom of God. But I don't see him doing that. Rather, I see him bringing the gospel down. I see him paving the way for Satan to enter into the body of Christ and cause havoc. I see him bringing disunity in the body of Christ. That's what I see. I don't see a pastor. I don't see, I don't regard him anymore as a pastor. I see him as an enemy of the cross. I see, I repeat it again. I see Ebed Damina as an enemy to the cross. In the days of Apostle Paul, there were people who deviated from the faith. And Apostle Paul called their name clearly that this person had followed the way of Satan. I tell you the truth. Ebed Damina has followed the way of Satan. There's nothing but this is just a pure truth. Because if any man... Oh, an angel comes to preach to you another gospel far apart from the one that you have. He said, even if it's an angel, the Bible said, let that person be a cause. He has nothing good to offer. He's an enemy to the cross. A Bedamina is an enemy to the cross. Yes. He's not a plus to the kingdom. He's not a plus. He's not a plus. Start with the word of God. Anyone that preaches against what the Bible says, a, do you know what he said? He said that God never told Noah to build an ark. Meanwhile, it is written in, in, in Genesis that, by, that God instructed Noah to build the ark that God never spoke to. He's so many. You see, I can't even listen to this man for, for, for one minute without breaking them. Not to even talk of listening to him for for. for did you know that in his last broadcast where he went to, you know, the one podcast like that, he went there to call, he said, all the miracles that, you know, happened in, in Dunamis, all the miracles that happened in, you know, in, in the, in, in, in Pastor Jerry S.A.'s ministry, that they are fake miracles. He said, can't you see that all the crutches, they are new and they are the same color, is that we are on earth where people come to, 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 to church and they come with the same crutches. Can you see that? Criticizing men of God in the names of preaching the gospel. I saw him today. Where I was watching one of his videos. He came out and said, I went there to declare Jesus. He went to the podcast, the recent one he went to. He said he went to declare Jesus and souls were saved. Which souls were saved? How can souls? Do you know what is the gospel? Do you know what the gospel of salvation? Do you know the gospel that brings salvation? You went there, did not preach Christ, you did not preach the gospel, yet you claim that souls were won. Where are the souls that were won? Where are the souls that were won? Do we get saved by, by, by listening to a man castigate men of God? Is that how we become saved? The Bible says that, 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 that the, 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 the gospel that saves you is the gospel of salvation. And what is the gospel of salvation? is is in the, the, the believing of 
what Jesus has done, the finished work of Christ, that Jesus Christ died and resurrected, believing in Jesus as the Son of God, that is the gospel. That is what saved you. He went there, we did not hear him preach the gospel. Rather, we all through, we saw him calling him, castigating miracles, castigating, saying all kinds of things. Speaking against giving and speaking against speaking against, and he called all of this the gospel that souls were saved. How many souls were saved? I tell you the truth, I have examined the followers of the Bedamina. I find out that so many of them are not born again. So many of his followers are unbelievers who are still worldly, who are still ungodly, who don't even know anything about God. Those are the people that are, who are clapping for him. And because of the uploads he's getting on social media, he thinks that he has arrived. But people who has been in the game for so long, he claims that he is an old preacher, that he has been in the game for long. But we cannot see his impact. We cannot, he cannot point to anybody who he has raised, who people are doing well out there. But the same pastor is castigating, who, who is criticizing, they are doing so many things. They have raised so many sons. They have raised so many pastors who are out there representing them and so i'm not going to say more on this but if you know the truth not just a bed I mean, there are so many fake you know people out there what is the difference between past i ask again what is the difference between past uh, i don't want to call him a pastor because i don't regard him as such anymore what is the difference between a bed and daddy freeze how many of you have been following Daddy Freeze? How he has been criticizing miracles, criticizing the men of God. Recently, uh, 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 Pastor Jerry has did a crusade in, 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 in UK that was packed and so many, so many miracles were recorded. Daddy Freeze came out to criticize it and say that they are fake miracles. Why didn't he do the miracle in Nigeria? Why did he go out to... So we see that even Daddy Freeze, who is not born again, is doing the same work with... Uh, Ebed Amina. They are all the enemy of the cross. People who don't want you to believe in miracles. Do people who want you don't want you to believe in what God is doing. And so you must recognize and identify these people who are not preaching the true word of God. So if I was not grounded in the word of God, truly I would have followed these people. But I thank God because over time I've given myself. To, to the word of God. I have been to Bible school by the grace of God. I have been, I've been to so many, you know, conferences. I, 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 I have stayed with the word of God. And so nobody will come out and deceive me and, and say, eh, eh, this, this thing is like this, this thing is like this. And I will just follow the person like this. So you must be grounded. All of you who are jumping from one place to another, you need to stay with the word of God and be built. Because so many false teachers are out there now. If you don't know your, if you are not built, you will easily follow them by their cunning words, their deceive, deceive words. We must stand our ground. I'm going to end here. I'm going to stop here. And many of you may come against me for this thing I'm saying. But I'm telling you, I don't do this. Like I said before, I've never done this. is the first time I'll be calling a man who, who, who is known as a pastor to, 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 to talk about, you know. But I'm seeing that he's doing more harm to the body of Christ than good. And many people don't recognize it. Many people are not seeing this. And so I'm going to stop here. Follow us on all social media platforms. This is Prime Media TV. On YouTube, Prime Media TV. On Facebook, Prime Media TV. And, uh, and on Instagram, Prime Media Studio. On TikTok, Prime Media Studio. Stay blessed. God bless you. See you on Tuesday. God bless you.